All right. Here we go. It is the College Football Playoff Committee's top 25, and I am angry at this committee. This committee is very biased. It has been biased. It's been terrible. You know, Colorado's at 25. San Jose State 24. Glad that they're in the rankings. They should be in the rankings at this point. Undefeated team. Really solid team. Haven't seen them play yet this year. But if I do get a chance, it will be in the Mountain West Championship. You know, somewhere in between, you know, late in that game. Uh, Tulsa still stuck at 23. They just haven't really moved too much up the rankings. NC State, Oklahoma State, Texas, Louisiana. Nothing really to say here except for Louisiana has the best win in college football. They have the best win in the country, and it doesn't make any sense why they haven't moved up. They really should be moving up, and they're not. It doesn't make any lick of sense. Uh, Miami, because of their loss, they're, they're probably going somewhere else bowling for this year. So, no Orange Bowl for you. Um, BYU, 17. They're going to the Boca Raton Bowl to take on UCF. Very fun. Um, UCF is a high-flying, high-scoring offense. And BYU has been one of the better teams in college football this year. It gave us the best game of 2020, if we're being completely honest with ourselves. Iowa's stuck at 16 right now. They really can't go anywhere too much. Um, I'm thinking they'll have a January Bowl, like always. Uh, Iowa always seems to get a January Bowl game. I don't know how. I don't know why. And they're the only team to complete the eight game. They're one of the few teams in the Big Ten to complete an eight-game schedule that was originally set up. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. You know, the Big Ten was ravaged by COVID, and Iowa escapes pretty much unscathed. North Carolina is the beneficiary. They only move up a little bit, though, to number 15 in the country. Um, they're in prime position for a Orange Bowl berth now. Very prime position. Northwestern, they're taking on number four, Ohio State. Yeah, that's right. I thought real where they are. Number four, the top five do not change. They do not change at all. It is still Alabama, Notre Dame, Clemson, Ohio State, and A&M. But, you know, Northwestern, they have a big opportunity to get a big-time victory against Ohio State. They got to they gotta get it done. It looks like Ohio State is in prime position to get jumped if they lose. Um, USC, Pac-12 champion, it's rather unfortunate there. You know, the Pac-12 championship is not going to mean anything. Uh, because USC is stuck at number 13. There's really not going to be too much movement uh, ahead of them now and behind them. You know, they're, they're just stuck at number 13 for this week. They might move up a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough. They've had three close games. The Pac-12, everybody except for USC has lost the game. So, you know, it, it's... It's really damaging. And team and Arizona ended without a victory. They fired Evan Sumlin. So, you know, that win definitely doesn't look good now. Coastal Carolina should be in the top 10. Don't know why they aren't. Um, they're stuck at number 12 right now. And I don't know why they're stuck at number 12. Indiana, same thing. Should be in the top 10. Do not know why they're stuck at number 11. It doesn't make any sense why. Honestly, USC should be in the top 10. But, you know, the, these two lost teams that are ahead of them, you know, it doesn't really make any too much. It doesn't really make too much sense, you know, for two lost teams to you not know, be like this. Like, everybody in the 11 through 14 range should be at the top 10. It doesn't make any sense. Because Oklahoma, despite the fact that they had two losses early in the year, both of them, both of them, well, one of them was bad. Because Kansas State is bad. The other one was to Iowa State. The other one was to Iowa State. I get that. But one of them was really bad. Kansas State is not a good team. That is not top 10 team material. You know, it doesn't make any sense why Georgia is number 8. They have beaten the only, they have beaten only, you know, weak, weak competition. It doesn't make any sense why they're number 8. It does not make any sense why they're number 8. It doesn't, it, it really doesn't make any sense why they're number 8. 
they lost to the only two good teams they played. And speaking of the only two good teams they played, here's Florida. They only dropped one spot. They only dropped a single spot. And Cincinnati, well, what about Cincinnati? They're stuck at number nine. They're getting shafted by the CFP committee. Now, y'all may not remember this back in 09, you know, when my Longhorns beat Nebraska in the Big 12 championship. You know, there was supposed to be, you know, no time left. The rest put a second back on the clock. And we went on ahead to the BCS championship against Alabama. And we all know how that went. You know, we know how that game went. But since then, Cincinnati got screwed there because, uh, honestly, we probably should have lost the game to the Nebraska. I'm not going to lie to y'all. You should have lost the game to the Nebraska back in 09. And Cincinnati should have went to the BCS championship. But this team, this team right here, you know, is just damn good. This Cincinnati team is really, really good. And they are getting the shaft because there is no reason that Iowa State should be at number six. There is no reason for them to be at number six. They got blown out by Louisiana. And honestly, Louisiana has a case for being a top 10 team as well. You know, they have the best win in the country. This is the best win in the country. It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make any lick of sense. And I don't get it. I really don't get it. We have spent 16 weeks with most of these teams, and you're telling me that Iowa State, a two-loss team, you know, one of their losses was to Oklahoma State, I think. Yeah, it was yeah, it was to Oklahoma State. You're telling me, and their other loss was to Louisiana. You're telling me that Iowa State is better than Louisiana. I don't care about how they played lately. I don't care about how Oklahoma's played lately. You got to look at the entire season. You got to look at the whole body of work. And if you don't look at the whole body of work, it tells you right there that Iowa State is definitely not a top 10 team. Florida, not a top 10 team. They have one of the worst losses in the country. Florida does. And they're still stuck at number seven. They're going to get blown out by Alabama probably. I mean, Alabama is undoubtedly the number one team in the country. There's no way you can stop them. I, I don't think Florida's going to stop Alabama despite Kyle Trask, you know, his best efforts. I don't think there's going to be any stopping, you know, the Crimson Tide. But, yeah, these rankings do not make any sense. I don't like it. And y'all can sound off in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow to talk more NFL because we got a busy week 15 coming. And, I mean, again, these rankings do not make any sense whatsoever. Abolish the committee like this. This, this committee is trash.